Well, I was looking at my cabbage flowers and see how the seeds are coming. And I noticed that there's all these little bugs on the, uh, on the stems. I'm not sure what they are. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is planting our Tumbling Tom tomato plants and our uh, lettuce. Now, I didn't get um, all 15 lettuce seeds to come up. Uh, I should have planted a couple a couple extras, but I didn't, but that's okay. I got most of them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, put these Tumbling Toms in these strawberry towers, and uh, I'll be back with you. So I kind of just cleared out the uh, spot for my uh, Tumbling Tom in the strawberry tower with the hydrogen in there. And then I'm gonna just take my uh, seedling and I'm gonna kind of put it towards the back um, just so uh, it gets enough water. And uh, it's gonna kind of lean like this. And then I'm gonna just, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the hydrogen here and cover it back up. And uh, all right, I got them all planted. Let's go on to the uh, lettuce. All right, so as you can see, I have all the lettuce planted in the floating raft. Uh, unfortunately, I only got uh, enough for 12, so this bed is gonna be three short, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just try this out and see how this lettuce grows in this floating raft system. So this tomato plant, I just kind of hacked, hacked the bottom off, hacked the roots off cut it at a 45 degree angle and stuck it out here in the uh, greenhouse. As you can see, it's not doing too well, but I just pulled it out because I was getting ready to get rid of it. And uh, there actually are roots, com roots coming out. So I uh, put it back in and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a little while and see what happens. Um, but this old guy is doing really well. Uh, he's coming right back. So uh, hopefully we'll get something from these. Okay, sorry if this is a little dark, but I wanted to give you guys an update on uh, our indoor system and, and the changes that we made. Now, as you can see, that these systems are always draining now. Uh, what we decided to do was put a timer in, uh, uh, connected to the, the filler pump, and uh, we're gonna start running that on uh, one hour on and three hours off, and see if that does anything to the growth or the health of the overall plant. But I wanna show you uh, how we actually did this. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have this tube that is connected uh, to the drain pipe right here, uh, right behind the union. And this nipple is actually threaded into this one inch UDC pipe, which is then connected to the, this, um, oh, I forget, the, I forget the size of this, of this tubing, but then connects to the drain uh, right here. So, th so what's gonna happen is the water will leak out continuously. And once the filler uh, pump, uh, once the timer is actually kicked off, then these beds will slowly drain over time and they will be completely empty uh, about, I don't know, hopefully about 10, 20 minutes after the uh, pump has kicked off. That way uh, we can get these beds uh, all the way empty, let them sit for a couple of hours, get, you know, re-aerate uh, the grow media and reintroduce water um, a couple of hours later. Uh, just, you know, just to experiment and see uh, exactly where our peak performance is. Uh, inside because um, some of our plants we've had an issue with root rot and I want to get away, away from that but uh, as you can see one of the uh, that bed over there is draining right now and you can see that tube is the same thing uh, they're actually all four wired this way so uh, as soon as we get the timer installed we'll go ahead and get the system working uh, the way uh, we intend to and we, I will uh, report any findings that uh, I get by running the beds on the timer so so there's the indoor bell pepper. Uh, it's, it's not getting very big. Um, it's, it's pretty long, uh, especially compared to the peppers that we have uh, growing outside in the greenhouse. Um, this is the one of two dwarf tomato plants. And uh, we'll see how well they do on a system that cycles uh, on and off. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and just give you guys an update. Uh, about the on the uh, modifications we did to the indoor system and uh, an update on our strawberry towers. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hopefully you're watching this on the website. It should be launched uh, Monday uh, today. Uh, but if you haven't heard, uh, the web address is www.hdaquaponics.com. We have a forum and uh, just a video log of all these of this video series. Um, 
If you haven't uh, haven't haven't checked out the Facebook fan page by now, um, you can find a link to it on the uh, right bar of the web page. Little Facebook icon. Just click on that, and I'll take you to our Facebook fan page, HD Aquaponics. So. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and I will be updating you again uh, real soon.